Hi everyone out there on the internet, this is David from DP Computing. Um, this time we've got a teardown of a Toshiba Satellite Pro L50-B. Uh, word of warning before we proceed is perform these steps at your own risk. You may avoid your warranty or totally stuff up your machine. So be careful and also take anti-static precautions. Now, before we do anything, we have to remove the battery. And the battery on this one is just down here, it's very small and there's two screws you have to remove. There's one there and one there. I've actually removed the screws or screws already just to make this video a bit quicker, but remove those two. They're just um, standard um, Phillips head screws. So once they're removed, the battery, as you can say, as you can see, I should say, can get removed. It's a very small battery, so just put that to one side. Now, there's an actual, probably nine other screws, so there's 11 in total. And I'll just go through all the locations with them. So there's these two here, which hold the battery in place as well as the cover on. Then there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now the battery here, or the battery, I should say, the screw here holds in the actual optical drive. So if you want to get the optical drive out, just unscrew that and the optical drive will pull out. Okay, and it's just a standard optical drive that Toshiba have done. As I said, I've removed all the other screws just to make this video a bit quicker. Once they're all removed, you'll have to get something flat under and sort of slowly start to prise away the case from, or the cover from the case. Now, yeah, as I said, get something flat under and it should start to come apart. And as you can see, don't, don't force things. If things aren't moving, just make sure you removed all the screws and then you can, once they're all done, we can remove it. So that's just the underside of the case there. And here we've got the units of the actual computer. So we've got the um, CPU fan, heat sink, um, some more heat sink there with the CPU under there. Memory, so there's one dimming, one free. Um, the hard drive here. Then we've got the um, SD card reader there, another sort of panel for the, the ethernet and a USB port there. Now, what's a bit different with this one for the Toshibas is the actual hard drive, as you can see here, it's got a little rubberized um, sort of mounting bracket in. What you have to do is just remove this like stopper and then we can push it to the side and then you can bring it up and then out. So. There it is, it's in a rubberized um, bracket or holder, which is easy to remove. So once we've got the hard drive out, you can replace it with an SSD, a larger hard drive, or a working hard drive, or whatever. Uh, so with the new one, just reverse what we did there. Um, memory is very simple, you've got two silver clips on the sides, just pull them outwards, and the memory will pop up. And there, as you can see, you can pull it up. To put it back in again, just push it, into the slot and then down until it clicks in place. Um, over here, as I said, we've got a heat sink and the fan. They may get dusty over time. Should probably move it a bit better. Oh, I better keep it the same orientation, sorry. So over here, we've got the fan and a heat sink. May get dusty, so you may need a bit of compressed air to clean that out. Um, probably there's not too much else I can show you here. Down here is the, as I said, a um, card reader and then we've got the Wi-Fi module which is actually, I did see it before, it's under here. So it's under this ribbon cable here. Um, all the actual ribbon cables have a little blue tab so you can lift that up to pull the ribbon cables out. So that's it for this video. Please check out our channel. We've got a lot of different teardowns of different laptops. We've also got a um, channel for Toshiba laptop teardowns, which links are appearing on the screen now. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.